I'm Michael East. I'm a business incubation specialist with InfoDev. InfoDev is a World Bank program that supports entrepreneurs and innovators. My favorite number is 6.4. Actually, 6.4 trillion. A trillion is 10 to the 12th, so 6.4 plus another 11 zeros. 6.4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 6.4 trillion is the size of the clean technology market in developing countries over the next 10 years. This is major new investment that will go into um, transforming the economies in developing countries. We really didn't know just how big this uh, market opportunity was. The so 6.4 trillion is about the size of the construction market in developing countries over the same time period. This tells you the amount of money that's going into new buildings, new infrastructure, is equivalent to what's going into clean technologies. So it's huge, it's very, very big. So what we set out to do was look at the entire amount of investment that would go into different clean technologies. This is renewable energy such as solar, wind, geothermal power, hydropower, green buildings, climate smart agriculture, then it's also waste management. So it's a number of different sectors. We have to add them up. We have to get the actual planned investment in different countries. And then we broke that down by regions. So it was a lot of work to do. This is the first time it's been done for developing countries, and it's never been done on a regional basis. So for us, it was very important to know how does it compare the Chinese market versus sub-Saharan African market versus Latin American market. The 6.4 is overall investment. What we've calculated within that is 1.6 trillion is really what's accessible to small and medium-sized businesses. So these are businesses run by local entrepreneurs, they hire local people, so really there's a, a subset of this that is, is almost uh, earmarked for local small and medium sized enterprises. They may not be manufacturing the solar panels or creating the wind turbines, but there's a lot of opportunity around applying this technology locally, adapting it to local conditions, installing maintenance, all of these other opportunities. So what we need to do is upfront try to get this flowing into the local businesses Investing in small businesses is absolutely important because they're nimble. They're often the source of new innovations. For instance, in Kenya, there's the M-Pesa, which is a way to pay people through your phone. Now, if you take that and you combine it with uh, biogas or a solar home system, you can find ways for consumers who are in off-grid areas who don't have a, a stable income they can buy a little bit of electricity using M-Pesa. What's fundamentally different here is we have a convergence of technologies. So we have the mobile phone, which is everywhere now. We have the solar home systems, and we have you know, this method of consumer financing through the mobile phone. So by bringing the three of them together, it's a relatively simple technological solution, but it's a great way for consumers who would not ordinarily qualify for um, electricity to be able to do so. Maybe one week you don't have enough to run your TV, but you can still run your refrigerator. Another week you're doing well, well, you bring everybody over for the Arsenal game. I get a great deal of satisfaction from my job. I think it combines both understanding of technology, which I think has one of the biggest opportunities to impact um, development trajectories. Um, it combines an understanding of local conditions because 99% of technologies cannot be just plopped into a country and expect to work effectively. So I spend a lot of my time um, in different countries understanding the needs of, of entrepreneurs. These are the folks who every day are, they take an idea and they're trying to turn it into a business. And that requires you know, running through brick walls sometimes. And yet these folks are so optimistic. They know they're growing their businesses. All they need is a little bit of help. And so being able to provide help to those entrepreneurs is really the, the best part of my job. So 6.4 trillion to me represents the future. So far this money has not been spent. We know it will be, or it will be close to this amount or higher or lower, but what's important is that we can use this as an opportunity for development. If we don't do that now, then the 6.4 gets spent over the next 10 years and we've missed this opportunity to support local businesses.